Hey, are you guys ready for some more learning? Today we are doing road signs and traffic signs. So again, this test has 50 questions. There is only one correct answer and you need to get 43 out of 50 correct. So let's begin with the first question. How can you identify traffic signs that give orders? A. They are circular with a red border. B. They are rectangular with a yellow border. C. They are square with a brown border. Or D. They are triangular with a blue border. Are you ready for the countdown? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is... A. They are circular with a red border. Explanation. There are three basic types of traffic signs. Those that warn, those that inform, and those that give orders. Generally, triangular signs warn, rectangular signs give information or directions, and circular signs give orders. An exception is the eight-sided stop sign. Next question. What shape are the traffic signs giving orders? Shape A, shape B, shape C, or shape D? And let's begin the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is the explanation. Road signs in the shape of a circle give orders. Those with a red circle are mostly prohibitive. The stop sign is octagonal to give it greater prominence. Signs giving orders must always be obeyed. Next question. Which type of sign tells you what you must not do? Sign A, sign B, sign C, or sign D? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is... A explanation. Signs in the shape of a circle give orders. A sign with a red circle means that you are not allowed to do something. Study, know your traffic signs to make sure that you understand what the different traffic signs mean. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. 20 cars only parking zone, B, maximum speed limit with traffic calming, C, minimum speed limit with traffic calming, or D, only 20 cars allowed at any one time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is B, maximum speed limit with traffic calming. Explanation. If you are in a place where there are likely to be pedestrians, for example, outside the school, near a park, in a residential area, or in a shopping area, you should be cautious and keep your speed down. Many local authorities have taken steps to slow traffic down by creating traffic calming measures such as road humps. They are there for a reason. Slow down. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. End of 20 miles per hour zone. B. Minimum speed limit 30 miles per hour. C. New speed limit 20 miles per hour. D. No vehicles over 30 tons. And let's start with the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one and the correct answer is a end of 20 miles per hour zone explanation where you see this sign the 20 miles per hour restriction ends and the 30 miles per hour restriction starts check all around for possible hazards and only increase your speed if it's safe to do so next question what does this sign mean a cars and motorcycles only b clear way no stopping c no motor vehicles d no overtaking and the countdown begins now five four three two one the correct answer is c no motor vehicles explanation a sign will indicate which type of vehicles are prohibited from certain roads make sure that you know which signs apply to the vehicle you are using next question what does this sign mean a no entry b no parking c no road markings or d no through road five four three two one and the correct answer is a no entry explanation no entry signs are used in places such as one-way streets to prevent vehicles driving against the traffic to ignore one would be dangerous both for yourself and for other road users as well as being against the law let's carry on with the next question what does this sign mean a bend to the right b no right turn c no traffic from the right or d road on the right closed five four three two one and the correct answer is b no right turn explanation the no right turn sign may be used to warn road users that there is a no entry prohibition on a road to the right ahead next question which sign means no entry sign a sign b sign c or sign d let's begin the countdown five four three two one and the correct answer is the explanation look for and obey traffic signs disobeying or not seeing a sign would be dangerous it may also be an offense for which you could be prosecuted next question what does this sign mean a parking for buses only b parking for trams only c route for buses only or d route for trams only five four three two one the correct answer is d route for trams only explanation avoid blocking tram routes trams are fixed on their route and cannot maneuver around other vehicles or pedestrians modern trams travel quickly and they are quiet so you might not hear them approaching next question which type of vehicle does this sign apply to a heavy vehicles b high vehicles c long vehicles or d wide vehicles and the countdown starts now five four 
three, two, one. And the correct answer is B, high vehicles. Explanation. The triangular shapes above and below the dimensions indicate a height restriction that applies to the road ahead. Next question. Which sign means no motor vehicles allowed? Sign A, sign B, sign C, or sign D? Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is B. Explanation. This sign is used to enable pedestrians to walk free from traffic. It's often found in shopping areas. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. No motor vehicles. B. No overtaking. C. Two-way traffic. Or D, you have priority. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is B, no overtaking. Explanation. Road signs that prohibit overtaking are placed in locations where passing the vehicle in front is dangerous. If you see this sign, do not attempt to overtake. The sign is there for a reason. You must obey it. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Clear way, no stopping. B. National speed limit applies. C. Waiting permitted. D. Waiting restrictions apply. Let's begin the countdown. Five, four, Three, two, one. And the correct answer is the waiting restrictions apply. Explanation. There will be a plate or additional sign to tell you when the restrictions apply. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. End of clear way. B end of cycle route, C, end of restricted parking area, or D, end of restricted speed area. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is C, end of restricted parking area. Explanation. Even though you've left the restricted area, make sure that you park where you won't endanger other road users or cause an obstruction. Next question. Which sign means no stopping? Sign A, sign B, sign C, or sign D? And let's start with the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is B. Explanation. Stopping where this clear way restriction applies is likely to cause congestion. Allow the traffic to flow by obeying the signs. Next question. What does this sign mean? It might seem like it's repeating itself, but it's not repeating itself. So, you know. A. National speed limit applies. B. No entry. C. No stopping. Or D. Waiting restrictions apply. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. The correct answer is C, no stopping. Explanation. This is the sign for a clear way. Clear ways are stretches of road where you aren't allowed to stop unless it's an emergency. 
Stopping where these restrictions apply may be dangerous and is likely to cause an obstruction. Restrictions might apply for several miles and these may be indicated on the sign. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Distance to parking place ahead. B. Distance to passing place ahead. C. Distance to public house ahead. Or D. Distance to public telephone ahead. Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is A. Distance to parking place ahead. Explanation. If you intend to stop and rest, this sign allows you time to reduce speed and pull over safely. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Vehicles may not park on the verge or footway. B. Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. C. Vehicles may park on the left on the left hand side of the road only or D vehicles may park on the right hand side of the road only and the countdown 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is B Vehicles may park fully on the verge or footway. Explanation In order to keep roads free from parked cars, there are some areas where you are allowed to park on the verge. Only do this where you see the sign. Parking on verges or footways anywhere else could lead to a fine. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Give priority to oncoming traffic. B. No overtaking allowed. C. One-way traffic only. D. Two-way traffic. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is... A. Give priority to oncoming traffic. Explanation. Priority signs are normally shown where the road is narrow and there isn't enough room for two vehicles to pass. Examples are narrow bridges, roadworks and where there is a width restriction. Make sure you know who has priority. Don't force your way through. Show courtesy and consideration to other road users. Next question. What's the meaning of these traffic signs? Of this traffic sign? A. Bus lane ahead. B. End of two-way road. C. Give priority to vehicles coming towards you. D. You have priority over vehicles coming towards you. 5. Four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is you have priority over vehicles coming towards you. Explanation. Don't force your way through. Show courtesy and consideration to other road users. Although you have priority, make sure oncoming traffic is going to give way before you continue. Next question. What shape is a stop sign? Shape A, shape B, shape C, or shape D? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is D. Explanation. To make it easy to recognize, the stop sign is the only sign of this shape. You must stop and take effective observation before proceeding.
Next question. In winter, road signs can become covered by snow. What does this sign mean? A. Crossroads. B. Give way. C. Stop. Or D. Turn right. Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C. Stop. Explanation. The stop sign is the only road sign that's octagonal. This is so that it can be recognized and obeyed even if it's obscured, for example, by snow. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Lay by 30 miles ahead. B. Maximum speed 30 miles per hour. B, C. Minimum speed 30 miles per hour or D, service area 30 miles ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is C, minimum speed 30 miles per hour. Explanation. This sign is shown where slow moving vehicles would impede the flow of traffic. For example, in tunnels. However, if you need to slow down or even stop to avoid an incident or a potential collision, you should do so. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Approaching traffic passes you on both sides. B. Give way to oncoming vehicles. C. Pass either side to get to the same destination. D. Turn off at the next available junction. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C. Pass either side to get to the same destination. Explanation. These signs are often seen in one-way streets that have more than one lane. When you see this sign, use the route that's the most convenient and doesn't require a late change of direction. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Give way to buses. B. Give way to trams. C. Route for buses. Or D. Route for trams. And the countdown begins now. Five. Four. Three, two, one. The correct answer is the route for trams. Explanation. Take extra care when you encounter trams. Look out for old markings and signs that alert you to them. Modern trams are very quiet and you may not hear them approaching. Next question. What messages are given by circular traffic signs that have a blue background? A. They give directions to car parks. B. They give mandatory instructions. C. They give motorway information. Or D. They give temporary directions during a diversion. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. The correct answer is B. They give mandatory instructions. Explanation. Signs with blue circles generally give mandatory instructions. These are often found in urban areas and include signs for mini roundabouts and directional arrows. Next question. Where would you see a contraflow bus lane? A. On a dual carriageway, B. On a one-way street, C. On a roundabout, or D. On an urban motorway. Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is B. On a one-way street. Explanation.
The traffic permitted to use a contraflow lane travels in the opposite direction to traffic in the other lanes on the road. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Bus station on the right. B. Contraflow bus lane. C. Give way to buses. Or D. White flow bus lane. 5. 4. 3, 2, 1, and the correct answer is B, contraflow bus lane. Explanation. There will also be markings on the road surface to indicate the bus lane. You mustn't use this lane for parking or overtaking. Next question. What does a sign with a brown background show? A. Minor roads, B. Motorway routes, C. Primary roads, or D. Tourist directions. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is D. Tourist directions. Explanation. Signs with a brown background give directions to places of interest. They are often seen on a motorway, directing you along the easiest route to the attraction. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Beware of trains. B. Beware of trams. C. Level crossing. Or D. Tourist attraction. Let's start the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And the correct answer is the tourist attraction. Explanation. These signs indicate places of interest and are designed to guide you by the easiest route. They are particularly useful when you are unfamiliar with the area. Next question. What's the purpose of triangular shaped signs? A. To give directions. B. To give information. C. To give orders. Or D. To give warnings. 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the correct answer is D to give warnings explanation triangular signs warns you of hazards ahead make sure you look at each sign that you pass on the road so that you don't miss any vital instructions or information next question what does this sign mean a. Give way. B. No through road. C. T junction. Or D. Turn left ahead. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is C. T junction. Explanation. This type of sign warns you of hazards ahead. Make sure you look at each sign and road markings that you pass so that you don't miss any vital instructions or information. This sign shows there is a T-junction with priority over vehicles from the right. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Multi-exit roundabout. B. Place of historical interest. C. Risk of ice. Or D. Six roads converge. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C. Risk of ice. Explanation. 
it will take up to 10 times longer to stop when it's icy. Where there is a risk of icy conditions, you need to be aware of this and take extra care. If you think the road may be icy, don't brake or steer harshly as your tires could lose their grip on the road. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Ahead only. B. Crossroads. C. Level crossing with gate. D. Level crossing without gate. Let's start the countdown. 5. Four, three, two, one. The correct answer is B, crossroads. Explanation. The priority through the junction is shown by the broader line. You need to be aware of the hazard posed by traffic crossing or pulling out onto a major road. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Mini roundabout B. No vehicles C. Ring road or D. Roundabout Let's start the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 And the correct answer is D. Roundabout Explanation as you approach a roundabout, look well ahead and check all signs. Decide which exit you wish to take and move into the correct position as you approach the roundabout, signaling as required. Next question. What information would be shown in a triangular road sign? A. Ahead only. B. Keep left. C. Minimum speed or D, road narrows. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is D, road narrows. Explanation. Warning signs are there to make you aware of potential hazards on the road ahead. Take note of the signs so you are prepared and so you can take whatever action is necessary. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Cycle in a single file. B. Cycle route ahead. C. Cycles aren't allowed. Or D. Cyclists must dismount. 5. 4. Three, two, one. The correct answer is B. Cycle route ahead. Explanation. Where there is a cycle route ahead, a sign will show a bicycle in a red warning triangle. Watch out for children on bicycles and cyclists rejoining the main road. Next question. Which sign means that pedestrians may be walking along the road? Sign A, sign B, sign C, or sign D? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is A. Explanation. When you pass pedestrians in the road, leave plenty of room. You might have to use the right-hand side of the road, so look well ahead, as well as in your mirrors before pulling out. Take great care if the bend in the road obscures your view ahead. Next question. Which sign means there is a double bend ahead? Sign A. Sign B, sign C, or sign D. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answer is B. Explanation. Triangular signs give you a warning of hazards ahead. 
They are there to give you time to prepare for the hazard. For example, by adjusting your speed. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Give way to farm vehicles. B. Give way to trams. C. Wait at the barriers. D. Wait at the crossroads. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is B. Give way to trams. Explanation. Obey the give way signs. Trams are unable to steer around you if you misjudge when it's safe to enter the junction. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Entrance to tunnel. B. Humps bridge. C. Humps in the road. Or D. Soft verges. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. And the correct answer is C. Humps in the road. Explanation. These humps have been put in place to slow the traffic down. They are usually found in residential areas. Slow down to an appropriate speed. Next question. Which sign means the end of a dual carriageway? Sign A, sign B, sign C, or sign D? Five, four, Three, two, one, and the correct answer is the explanation. If you are overtaking, make sure you move back safely into the left hand lane before you reach the end of the dual carriageway. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. End of dual carriageway. B. End of narrow bridge. C. Road narrows. Or D. Tall bridge. Let's begin the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the correct answer is a end of dual carriageway explanation don't wait until the last moment before moving into the left hand lane plan ahead and don't rely on other traffic letting you in next question what does this sign mean a adverse camber B. Airport, C. Road noise, or D. Side winds. Let's begin the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is D. Side winds. Explanation. A warning sign with a picture of a windsock indicates that there may be strong side winds. This sign is often found on exposed roads. Next question. What does this traffic sign mean? A. Danger ahead. B. Service area ahead. C. Slippery road ahead. D. Tires liable to punctures ahead. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the correct answer is A, danger ahead. Explanation. This sign is there to alert you to the likelihood of danger ahead. It may be accompanied by a plate indicating the type of hazard. Be ready to reduce your speed and take avoiding action. Next question. 
you are about to overtake. What should you do when you see this sign? A. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. B. Move to the right to get a better view. C. Overtake the other driver as quickly as possible. Or D. Switch your headlights on before overtaking. Let's begin the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is A. Hold back until you can see clearly ahead. Explanation. You won't be able to see any hazards that might be hidden in the deep. As well as oncoming traffic, the dip may conceal cyclists, horse riders, parked vehicles, or even pedestrians in the road. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. Cattle grid ahead. B. Gated road ahead. C. Level crossing with gate or barrier. D. Level crossing without gate or barrier. Let's begin the countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the correct answer is C. Level crossing with gate or barrier. Explanation. Some crossing have gates but no attendance or signals. You should stop, look both ways, Listen and make sure that no train is approaching. If there is a telephone, contact the signal operator to make sure it's safe to cross. Next question. What does this sign mean? A. No trams ahead. B. Oncoming trams. C. Trams crossing ahead. Or D. Trams only. 5. 4. Three, two, one, and the correct answer is C, trams crossing ahead. Explanation. This sign tells you to beware of trams. If you don't usually drive in a town where there are trams, remember to look out for them at junctions and look for tram rails, signs and signals. Next question and the last one for today's test. What does this sign mean? A. Adverse camber. B. Steep hill downwards. C. Steep hill upwards. D. Uneven road. And the countdown begins now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is... B. Steep hill downwards. Explanation. This sign gives you an early warning that the road ahead will slope downhill. Prepare to alter your speed and gear. Looking at the sign from left to right will show you whether the road slopes uphill or downhill. Thank you guys so much for staying with me and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. For now, take care. Bye.